Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Tactical Expedition. Always wanted to have a knife, but then a lot of times I need a Phillips screwdriver or flathead screwdriver or Torx screw or hex wrench or anything like that, right? So then I thought about carrying this and carrying another uh, multi-tool, but then I was doing some research and I found these two knives made by Kershaw. Kershaw is a reputable company. This, uh, I got both of them on Amazon. So the box looks similar. So first I will show you, this is called Kershaw Select Fire 1920. So it looks like that. It's a multi-tool combined with a knife. You can choose black or blue and you can choose the, the blade type, either non-serrated or serrated. So I got the black type and comes with two flatheads and two Phillips. So when you open it up, really well made. The quality is really, really good. Blade is sharp. That's the blade type and it's made in China. It's the clip, deep pocket clip and there's a multi-tool. So I'll put this away. Then if you want to use the tools, you, you can either screw something this way so you can have more torque you can hold like a screwdriver then you can put whatever uh, tool bits that you have at home so I have these Dewalt assorted bit tips and also this is for hex type so I can use these you know whatever you want so you can carry four so basically you, this comes up, it's spring tension. Then you remove a bit. It's a magnetic top. Oh, shit. <laughs> okay, magnetic. It goes in there. There's a good magnet, you see? Then there's a ruler. This is inches. This is center, center meters. So that is select fire. So this comes up, goes in there, release it. That's it. Second, this is called Kersha Shuffle DIY. It's same concept, but this is smaller. So deep pocket clip. There's a can opener. See, this one doesn't come out or anything. It's just permanently stuck right there. And there's a short blade, a lot shorter. Um, so that's the blade type. It's also made in China. It came with the black colored bits, but I've replaced it with Dewalt. This is combination of torque and hex screw that I use the most and the Phillips. This doesn't have a spring tension like select fire. So all you do is remove it, you push it, it comes out. There's a little detent spring tension inside. The magnet is a lot weaker right there. The magnet is super weak. See, it comes out easy. So that's a little bit cheaper magnet than the other one. So that's how you use the tool. Pretty cool, you know. And this goes right back. You just push it in hard. I've noticed Dewalt bit tips are a little bit slightly bigger than what they supply you, the black bits. So it's tighter fit. So that's the size difference. I don't like the serrated edge blade. Just in case I cut like fruits or cut the boxes, this works a lot better. Don't think that you're gonna use these knives on a self-defense situation. Try to run away or fight as a last resort. But like I said, there are people who have CCWs and police officers who carries concealed carry. So once you pull this out, they will pull out their gun and shoot you and that will be justified because you had a deadly weapon. Um, anyway, so that's the difference. Top, top, that's this side. Let's do it this side. So same type of locking mechanism. Um, this is better quality, but it's just heavier. So I will measure, weigh it, 3.4. This feels heavier for some reason, because maybe this is more flat and it's bigger. 
than this and this is a more a rounded shape i mean i will carry this from now on and this one unfortunately i have to return this because it's it's too big and i know some of you is gonna say that's what she said but but anyway <laughs> my buddies always make fun of me when i say oh that's big or that's huge this is great tool so you can just leave it in your backpack or at kitchen drawer or something but just for daily carry EDC knife I think this is too big and too heavy so this is a good replacement and good EDC carry if you want to have an extra two of whatever bits that you choose to carry out of assortment of bits that you use you know so anyways uh, thank you for viewing and uh, I'll be back with more videos thank you